Do you ever feel like you have a closet filled with clothes, but yet you have nothing to wear? Today's video, we're gonna dive into the top things that you can declutter from your closet to make space for what you really love anyway. So grab a bag, grab a box, and let's tackle some of that clutter. What's interesting with clothes is that we all have something in common. Yes, me, you, and every single person, and that is this. We only wear what we can see. If we don't see it, we don't wear it. Out of sight, out of mind is definitely applicable here. So those things that are shoved into the back of your dresser drawers or on the floor or tossed on your bed or under your bed or wherever your clothes are falling, I want you to hang or place these items front and center over the next two, four, six weeks and challenge yourself to wear them regularly. This is like the ultimate test because if you are seeing the same pieces when you walk into your closet or open your dresser and yet you're still reaching for your favorites anyway, uh, it's time to let it go. It's time to let it go. So give yourself a deadline here, two, four, six weeks. What's it's gonna be? Mark that date on your calendar. And I promise you at that time, if you are disciplined, you can let that stuff go that's been hanging front and center that you haven't worn. Immediately opening up space in your closet, you're gonna feel so much better. Any outdated item or any piece that you haven't worn in a year. And here's where you might have gotten stuck in the past with this type of category. You're like, well, I haven't worn it in a year, but it cost $20, 40, 50. 60, 70, whatever that number is. But you have to remember that simply paying money for something isn't the only way to interpret value. Clothing items, accessories, belts, hat, jewelry, whatever we're talking about here, if you haven't wearing them, they aren't providing value. That is one of the most important ways we get value out of our things is by using them. So maybe just that little quick mindset shift is really gonna help you finally let go of some of these things that you've been hanging on to for far too long. And plus, if we're even talking about money to begin with, there is a cost, a hard cost of storing things in your closet and in your home. On average, we spend about $10 a square foot. So look around your closet right now and you can probably quickly identify things that you're literally paying to store and to keep and you're not getting any value out of them. So let go of stuff that it's been a year plus or things that you simply aren't interested in anymore. And one of my favorite questions to ask here, especially with this category, is this. Have I had the opportunity to wear this? Wear these earrings, wear this necklace, this belt, this scarf, this shirt, this pair of jeans, whatever it is. If you've had the opportunity to wear it and you haven't, again, mm, it's gotta go. Socks with holes or that are missing their mates. Bag them up, friend. Formal wear that you haven't worn in forever. So those bridesmaid dresses you paid way too much for many years ago, it's time to let those go. Sell them at a local consignment store or hop on Poshmark. That's my favorite way to sell clothing. That's an online consignment store. Or maybe you find a local charity to donate them to. One of my favorites that's based here in the US is promnationalnetwork.org. Extra buttons. Oh my gosh. If you're anything like I used to be, I used to keep those things like they were prized possessions. Like if you got a new coat or something that came with those extra buttons, I would put them all over my house. I had little stacks everywhere. It was like a little button hoarder. But ironically, if I ever lost a button on one of those coats, which by the way, I never did, but if I did, they were scattered all over my house. I wouldn't have even known where to find them. I had too much clutter. Okay. So if this is you and you're like, yeah, uh, me too, let them go. Donate them, recycle them, and breathe easy knowing that you don't need to hang on to those extra buttons just in case. And worst case scenario, you could always go find a new button. This next one is interesting. This took me years to kind of realize, but here, here we go. Anything with a price tag on it. And you might be going, what? No, I haven't worn it. Why would I donate it? And here's the thing. I once read a study that said, if you don't wear a brand new piece of clothing or jewelry within the first two weeks of getting it, the chances are so slim you will ever wear it. And I was like, mm, mind blown. That is so true. Think about it. Anytime we get something new is typically the most excitement we have around that piece, whether it's a t-shirt, jeans, jewelry, scarf, hat, whatever it is. And how many of us, two weeks, four weeks, six weeks, months, years later, haven't worn an item and have all these tags on it, right? The reality is we just need to chalk it up for what it is, whether it was an impulse purchase or maybe it was a really intentional purchase, but yet you're not wearing it, let it go. You will create so much space in your closet. It's just one of those hard truths that we just need to embrace. Bras that don't fit. I'm telling you, ladies, life is too short to wear uncomfortable undergarments. Okay, take it from me who wore one that didn't fit properly for about one decade. <laughs> And the second I found one that did work, oh my gosh, it was like, ah, a breath of fresh air. Why did I wait a decade to find undergarments that fit properly? <laughs> I don't know. 
I won't encourage you to go buy things often, but I'm telling you, it's an investment in your comfort and your day-to-day lifestyle. So let the ones go that are decades old and don't fit and go invest in one that does, okay? Shoes that hurt your feet. Let's face it, we all have shoes in our closet that we haven't worn in a while, and part of it is because they're just uncomfortable. And so if you haven't already tried to fix that discomfort of those particular shoes, which I'm sure are very cute with like insoles or little heel protectors so you don't get blisters, start there. Of course, we wanna use what we already have. But if you have and you're just like, "Mm, I'm done, I'm not doing it. I have this other pair over here that looks the same and is comfortable, let those go and your feet are gonna thank you and so will that extra space in your closet. Costume pieces. If you have little bins and costume pieces hanging around from previous Halloweens or special events that you know you're probably never gonna wear again, let those go. I'll admit, I hung on to this type of costume material for years thinking, I'll just wear it next year. But then when that rolled around, I never wore it and I created a new costume for myself anyway. So let it go you'll feel so much better. Clothes and accessories that were gifted to you but are simply not your style. And I get it. I know your great aunt Susan had such good intentions when she gifted you that special silk scarf or your best friend when she gave you that, I don't know, BFF necklace (laughs) many years ago, but you simply don't wear. So ask yourself, if I were free from guilt, would I still keep this? I know for you, the answer is no. So let it go and give yourself more space. Let's also add to that donation bin you have started, excess seasonal accessories, winter scarves, hats, swimsuits, those little swimsuit foam inserts that come with all the swimsuits and we all hate and despise, but we keep anyway. We're like, oh, I'll just keep them and put them over here and wear them at some point. No, all we're doing is hoarding these little foam inserts. So use today as an opportunity. You've got your donation bag or box there, throw a few in there that you haven't worn in the past few seasons and you'll thank me. Decluttering your closet doesn't have to be overwhelming and hopefully these tips help you streamline your efforts. By starting with these really small steps and focusing on what you can declutter today, I promise you it's gonna make a big difference in your closet and ultimately your life.